So here we are with the 47 Dodge. Uh, Dodge Ram 1500 with the 47 in it. I'm getting ready to pull this out. When I drained the oil, water and snot came out. And it's just toast. So, Ooh, got it out. Now I got an empty hole here in this pickup truck, which is really good looking right now. <laughs> Until I can get the other motor in there. So I got to pull this apart, get the crank out, and, um, you know, check some things over, see if the oil pan's different, that kind of stuff. But I got to get the crank out so I can get the tone wheel off it. So I can put the tone wheel in the other one. Now this has got the magnesium valve covers. Ooh, that's pretty exciting. Looks like maybe they changed the coils on this or something. I'm sure this thing's had a had a life, but who knows? Right now it's just a slug. It's dripping water all over. It's a mess. So I'm gonna move it over here to this open spot. Boy, these wheels never want to go the right way. Curious to see what's under this valve covers. See how sludged up it could be. But I did notice this one soft plug when I was under there is rotted away. See how much more water comes gushing out of this. Not too much. Well, I'm going to start tearing this thing down and uh, see what it looks like and get my tone wheel out. Okay, popped off the valve car. This doesn't look all that horrible either. I mean, it's definitely dirtier than the other one, but it doesn't look horrible. I thought these were supposed to be a sludge motor. I guess they're not. Like the 27 is definitely a sludge motor. Then I pull off this valve cover and look what I find. Ooh, roller rockers off. And it put little turkey tracks in the, in the cam lobe, so that's going to be crap. So I'm going to pull out this lifter and take a look at it, see what it looks like. Oh, i got to grab my pliers. I wonder if these are big enough. <laughs> okay, so the other motor, I was able to just pull them out. So here's that lifter. Now, theoretically, it should be loose. Let me get a rag. It's got a little bit of play, but not a crazy amount. I'm pushing about as hard as I can. So, I wonder why that thing popped off. Oh, huh. now I'm seeing more stuff. I see it. I see what happened to this one. Take a look at it and we'll, we'll see. You'll see what's going on. Another disgusting malady that these are known for, along with the Hemis and even some 5.9 Cummins engines, is dropping the valve seat. And the dead giveaway of that would be this. If I look, well, it, maybe it's not lower. It is, I think. That valve spring, this, this one the lobe's up. This one doesn't matter because the rocker's out of the way. But I think that's down, which means the seat is probably down in, and that's probably popped off. Looks like junk. I'm, I'm just unbolting stuff off this old motor, so most of it's not very exciting. But this is a little trick here. This is this is one of these pullers you can get. You get them like a three packs at Harbor Freight. Now I'm not, I don't use these all the time. If I did, if I did this pro, I, I'd be buying Snap-on stuff or Mac, even though that's all made in China now too. But this Harbor Freight puller, it's a cheesy one. Well, this was made in Taiwan, but anyway. Just a small puller, very simple, it's three jaw, and you're able to put it in, kind of slide it past this low tooth, and, and then just give it a twist, and get the jaws behind each of the bigger ones, and then pull it off. I've done it twice now, once on each motor. Doing a little bit of an autopsy on this thing. That's a gooey mess, that's just probably from using the wrong antifreeze, starting to dissolve the metal down. It's amazing how, or, or too long an inter interval on changing inter antifreeze. If you wait too long for changing anything, you gotta change it. I don't know, I don't know what the recommended. Whatever your owner's manual says is the way to roll. Cause really, antifreeze is important and it does tend to turn to an acid. It loses its pH balance and then you're, then you're screwed, starts eating everything. Ew, well I got the pan off and now it's all a gray, watery, oily mess. But all I want is a tone wheel. Then the rest is going out to the scrap pile. But I did get the bed plate off and these bearings look good. 
the bearings in this junk motor look good. And I'm looking at them over here on the bed plate, and they all look good. I mean, I got oil dripping on them now, but they're all clean. They're not scored. They're not down to nothing. And the crank can't catch a fingernail anywhere. I mean, it's smooth. No, I don't know. Maybe I put the crank on eBay or something. If they're worth anything. If not, I'll just scrap it. All right. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.